Okay, how about this one? I'm so stiff, I went for a checkup, uh, and the doctors declared me legally dead. No, no, no. Okay, listen to this one. I'm so stiff, I went hiking in the woods, and I almost got chopped down by a logger. No. You know, you know what, I, th I think they were just sick of this uh, I'm so stiff kind of deal. Now, he here's mm. a joke that I liked, I heard it the other day. What are the favorite words of President Clinton? Mm. What, what are his favorite words, what, what does he love to hear most all the time? Mm. Uh, oh, would you like fries with that? <laughs> because that's, that's the president of the United States you're talking about, Pinhead. Oh, that's right. I can't tell you how happy we are that you found time in the schedule and get everybody up here and have this worked out for us. I really appreciate it. And, and what, what do I call you? Do I call you uh, Mr. Vice President? Do I call you Al? Do I call you Mr. Gore? Do I call you... Could I call you Senator, being formerly a senator? What... Your adequacy is fine. Your adequacy. <laughs> I like to recycle jokes. <laughs> let, me, and, uh, l l let me say, yeah. I, I was happy to do that little piece at the beginning that of the show. That little skit. You were very good, on by the, the way. On the, stiff, on the stiff jokes. And I don't mind them. You know, I collect them. They're fine. <laughs> but <laughs> Really? But, but the line... You collect them, eh? The line that you used on one of your earlier shows about Jurassic Park... That's right saying that Bill Clinton was calling Spielberg to see if he could bring me to life. <laughs> that was really no, below wasn't. the bell. I don't know. <laughs> I, uh, I, I think that probably was one of the other guys. Yeah, I don't yeah. remember. I'm sure it was, but let me, get, let me give you one that I think works out of my collection. Uh -huh. How can you tell Al Gore from a room full of Secret Service agents? He's the stiff one. <laughs> hey! Wow! The vice president gets rim shots tonight. Pretty good, Al. Let me, uh, let me say one thing, and then I have a, a follow-up question here. Um, <laughs> I, I, I've, I've been acting this way all day. I don't know what the problem is. It's the first kick. Yeah. Uh, and, and maybe I was, maybe I was spoiled by your predecessor. But... <laughs> but as, as a taxpayer, and as a man who tells jokes for a living, I'm not sure I'm getting my money's worth out of you. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I, but it could be. I, I feel like I've been given at the office. But did, did, uh, did we have the wrong impression of Dan Quayle? Is that possible? You served with him in the Senate. What do you know of the guy? And, and in the House. We used to play basketball together. We were good friends. I've avoided piling on. Yeah. But uh, in your assessment, was it a misrepresentation? Just yes or no. I didn't think. I, he, I didn't think. He, I didn't. All told, I, seriously, I didn't think he got a fair shake. All right. All right. Now good he enough. didn't have That's... a very good jump shot. I'll say that. Oh, he could. Oh, good. Yeah. Um, uh, so have you have you fixed the government? <laughs> it's it's it it certainly needs it. Yeah. Now this was and... wasn't that the purpose of the big study? Yeah. Cut out the waste. Cut out the yeah. needless spending. Yeah. We took six months. Uh, we looked at what a lot of private companies have done and taking a new approach, cutting costs, improving the quality. We looked at what folks like John Sharp in Texas and the folks in Sunnyvale, California, have done, and we're taking a completely different approach. Mm -hmm. We found a lot of really ridiculous things mm -hmm. that cost way too much money that need to be eliminated. We need to cut costs and get a government that works better and costs less. Now, I was reading in the paper this morning, if, if some of these implementations uh, are followed, it, what implement, was that word? implementation, I'm uh -oh. sorry. <laughs> Uh, don't make me check your spelling, all right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. If some of these things are followed out, they said that the government could save itself, could save ourselves, like $300 billion. Is that right? We identified $108 billion, 108 in, billion. in this report. And, you know, it's not unusual for... Look, look at the automobile industry. Ten years ago, 
if somebody had said in 1993 our car companies were going to be making the highest quality cars in the world, most people would have said that can't be done. But, right. but they're really doing it with the same employees, the same unions, taking a different approach. We're trying to apply those lessons to the federal government, empower the employees, measure the results and the performance instead of the inputs, and uh, empower them to be more flexible mm -hmm. and creative. And we're convinced that it can really be done. It'll yeah. take some time. A lot of it can be implemented right away. But we need to cut the unnecessary spending and, and the wasteful practices. How, how much did that study cost? <laughs> Nothing. We did it with, we did, one of the things that's different about it. Oh, a couple hundred billion? Uh, <laughs> it's just about 108 billion. Oh, no, no. One uh, of the things that's different about it is we did it uh, completely with federal employees, and just as these companies rely on their own employees, we relied on federal employees, and it made a difference. I brought some examples of some of the things that... Uh, we found mm -hmm. um, stuff that needs to be done away with. Yeah. All right. I tell you what. Let's uh, pause for a commercial and uh, do a little taxing of our own, <laughs> and uh, we'll we'll take a look at the item you brought. Look, it's me and the vice president. <laughs> Al Gore is here. Kim Basinger and uh, Chris Isaac. All right. We have what looks like a little craft. By the way, Clinton spends three weeks on Martha's Vineyard. Then he goes to Florida for Labor Day. Well, when are you going to get some time off? <laughs> I hope soon. All right. What do we have here? Okay. We, the government spends two hundred billion dollars a year buying goods and services. One of the things we found was ashtrays, which they call ash receivers mm -hmm. tobacco desk type. But this is a quality item. <laughs> yeah, but, but th this is a designer ashtray uh -huh. because the taxpayers have paid lots of people to specify everything about this, including the testing procedure, which has to be on a plank made out of maple for some reason. Now, this, this is not one of your jobs, this is, is it? This is, no. <laughs> <laughs> not, not until tonight. I, I know you break ties in the Senate. I didn't know about this. Oh, I like that. Well, I like thank that. You. Thank you very much. This... <laughs> <laughs> they, say... <laughs> they actually specify the exact way people have to break this right. in order to test it. And okay. they, they have to count the number of pieces. It can be no more than 35 pieces. You have to use a, an expensive hammer. One of these things. Safety goggles, and I thought we would uh, give it a try here. All right, I'll do it first. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Now, we're supposed to. Uh... Now it's your turn. All right. I'm just, I'm just a beginner. You know, we're not we're... doing this right. Well, give, me, give me the We're tool. supposed to count all these and measure them with the uh, right. ruler. And, and how, how is this saving taxpayers' money? We, we haven't been able to find the answer to that question. It's costing taxpayers a lot of money. That's why we want to get rid of The testing procedure this. is what's costing them money. <laughs> the, is that... the way we buy, the government buys stuff like yeah. this is crazy. I guess I just don't understand politics. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's good. This would make a lovely cutting board for your wife, Tipper. That's, Take that back to Tennessee. That's right. Now, the, the point is, why can't they just go down to the store and buy something instead of going through this kind of right. procedure, which costs a lot of money? Now, is there any chance at all that, forget getting it done, forget implementing this deal, is there any chance at all we can make a dent in this huge glacier juggernaut, uh, jugger, juggernaut that's... <laughs> That has just I'll let that pass. thank you has built up <laughs> and is just caving in on itself. Yeah, we really can. Uh, people are used to thinking nothing can change, uh -huh. but the American people are really upset with the way it operates now. It doesn't work. It, it's extremely wasteful. There's bipartisan support for getting rid of all these wasteful procedures, cutting yeah. the wasteful spending, and putting in a new approach that will make it work better and cost right. less. We we really can do it. Just as a lot of companies and a few local governments have done it. So let me get this straight. What you're saying, the taxpayers at home can help out by busting their own ashtrays? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Very good, sir. Uh, now, I'm, I'm told that you, you brought something for us. Yeah, yeah, I, I got a top 10 list uh, of, from Washington. Uh, What, the, from what the is, home office yeah, in what's, the, what's the category there? 
the top 10 good things about being vice president. Oh, man, you got it. Yeah. You got it right. typed up and everything. You're going to start there. OK. All right, here we go. Number 10. Yeah. Police escort gets you to the movies faster. <laughs> Number nine, you know that game Tetherball? Yeah. I got to play Tetherball with the inventor of Tetherball. Wow. You're talking about Mr. Tether. And Mr. Tether. Yeah. Number eight, after they sign a bill, there's lots of free pens. <laughs> no. Number seven, if you close your left eye, the seal on the podium reads, President of the United States. <laughs> Number six, I get intellectual property rights to my speeches. Whoa. Number five, Dan Quayle and Gerald Ford are pretty easy to beat during Vice President's Week on Jeopardy. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know they had a yeah, vice. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's, uh, must be very popular. Yeah. Number four, you don't have to be funny to get invited on The Letterman Show. <laughs> number, number three, you get to eat all the French fries the president can't get to. Oh! 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 Well, Mr. Big Shot, sure. <laughs> number two, don't have to be good speller to get the job. Ah, OK. And the number one good thing about being vice president, Secret Service code name, Buttafuoco. Yeah.